Hey guys, really excited to bring you this video today of the Insect Lore Butterfly Garden Kit uh, where we grow some caterpill caterpillars from the, the baby stage all the way to live butterflies. Uh, today what we're doing is we're actually removing them from their cup uh, and putting them in their enclosure as they're all chrysalids now. We actually have to open it up and move them in there. Uh, so we're really excited to do that and show you guys some really neat HD close-ups. Uh, you can probably see a little of that on the video right now. Uh, but I just wanted to say guys, if you, if you like this content and you think these videos are cool, uh, we'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to our channel. We have some other great videos uh, of this whole process leading up to now, and there's going to be a few more, uh, plus some other really cool stuff that we do as a family. Uh, even a like to the video is something that could really help us out, and we'd really appreciate it. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at us moving these guys from their cup over into their enclosure. Okay, guys, here's the next update for the caterpillars turning into butterflies with the Insect Lore Butterfly Kit. Uh, they're all chrysalids now. Uh, they were the last time I, I did a video, but with this video, we're actually going to be removing the lid and putting them inside the enclosure there. Um, you're supposed to do that after about three days. Uh, day, today's, uh, for the total, is day 13 because we got it on the 22nd. Uh, today's the 5th, so this is actually day 13. They've been in there for about three days. So we're actually going to move them now <clears throat> from, the, from the cup that they came in you remove the full lid with them attached to it and then you put them in this little guy right here and then you put that inside of the enclosure uh, they did say to put a paper towel or a cloth or something inside the enclosure because they can leak some of the red stuff that they use to turn into butterflies uh, and it can get on your furniture so make sure and put something down in the bottom of the enclosure but uh, yeah we'll go ahead and open it up and take a look oh the, the, uh, the q-tips or the cotton swabs are for uh, you're supposed to remove any of the silk uh, that that gets on them um, and then any other debris or anything that they have on them you just remove with those very carefully to make it easier for them to get out so this is the first time you should be opening your lid this is the oh here they come it's weird. It's crazy. So you can place it in the what? In this. Probably not where it's probably at, like right here. Okay. Yeah, so it's not on the one there. This is a really crazy... Oh boy, that one's twitching. It says that they will twitch a little bit inside of their chrysalids if they sense a predator. And they said it's a really normal response for them to uh, do a little moving and twitching is to try to scare the predator away. Okay, I just wanted to give you guys like a super close up here so you could really see what these guys look like. Now that they're not in that cup, you can really see them good. You can see that the, the top of the caterpillar is still attached. It's really, really, really cool. So if you go to the Insect Lore website, you can read about this whole part of the process and it's really neat because it says that they basically turn into a liquid and I can't remember the name of the liquid off the top it's like Merconin or something along that line but it's a red liquid they actually completely liquid turn into liquid inside of the chrysalis and then they actually reform the cells the liquid cells into a butterfly and that's just absolutely crazy I strongly suggest you go to the website, as I've been saying this whole time, to kind of read about this process as you're as you're doing it, because you really learn some crazy stuff about it. But yeah, there you go. There's a, a close-up of what these guys look like. Next, we'll go ahead and get them into that guy right there. Yeah, you can really see. Oh, a little too close. Hold on. Let me back out. 
Let's see if I can get close. It almost looks fake. It looks like a movie prop or something. It looks like a. They're made out of leather or something. Little metal studs on them. Super cool. Alright, let's get him in there. And then, uh, yeah. And then we wait. So once you get them in the enclosure, uh, you're looking at another, uh, it says seven to 10 days once they're chrysalids. And they should have already been in there for about three days. Oh, look, that one's twitching. <laughs> They've already been in there for three days, so we're looking at another three or four days. Uh, if I see any big changes or anything happens, I'll definitely do another video to kind of keep you guys updated on it. But as of right now, there we go. They're in. Out of the cup. That's the inside of the cup. It's pretty disgusting, actually. Lots of caterpillar poop and exoskeletons and stuff. But, yeah. Should have butterflies soon. Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Also, check out me and my family on some of our other great adventures that we go on. Uh, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking the circle in the upper left. It's right there. Uh, thanks so much again for stopping by. I hope you have a great day.